Hi students, welcome to SFS Kambam Online Classes. This is your Vijay Kumar sir, teaching Social Studies 8th class. My dear children, all of you follow our YouTube channel. Channel name is Vijay sir YouTube channel. Just subscribe and like so that you can get notifications of our lessons every day. So kindly follow our lessons so that it is very helpful for you to write the examinations and also get the good marks. Okay, without wasting our time, let's get started. Thank you. Our next chapter is Energy from the Sun. What is the lesson name? Energy from the Sun. My dear ch children, daily we are receiving light and heat understood so the energy in the form of light and heat we are receiving from the sun so that is what the sun is the principal source of energy on the earth surface so it is right or wrong yes it is right we are receiving energy from the sun so here today we are going to cover the introduction part of this energy from the sun. The earth on which we live is full of diversity. Earth is full of diversity. What do you mean by this diversity? So diversity is nothing but the condition of having many different elements. What is that? The condition of having many different elements. For example, in the last previous classes, we covered many aspects of this diversity that is oceans, continents, mountains, plateaus and plains and also some regions of high and scanty rainfall where it is all located on the earth. So, earth is same, but it is having a different types of features that is oceans, continents, mountains, plateaus and plains. Okay. These are all called as diversity. For better understanding my dear children, here I am going to share you one more example. For example, you are all studying 8th class. In your class, many students are there and they are coming from different religious background. Some students are belonging to Hindus, some students are belonging to Christians, some students are belonging to Muslims, but you are all studying same class in the same school, right? So, this is called diversity, understood? <coughs> that is what our India is called as unity in diversity. So, in our India, many religious people are living here, many Christians are there, some people are uh, Hindus are there, some people Muslims, Sikhs, Jains like this. Many different uh, religious background people are living here in our India. So, that is what India is a unity in diversity. Also, my dear children, <coughs> on the earth we can observe many animals are there, many plants are there, birds, insects, right? So, all these are living on the earth. So, this is also called as biodiversity. Okay. So, you can also observe in the workplaces, in the companies, many people are working uh, different jobs in the same company, but they are all belonging to different societal status. Some people are coming from poor background, some people are coming from rich background and some people are coming from middle class background like this. Understood. So, this type of uh, variation or this type of uh, uh, what you call condition is called as diversity. So, that is what diversity means the condition of having many uh, different elements. I hope you understood clear, right? So, diversity means having different elements. Understood. So, that means you are all studying 8th class, but having different religious backgrounds. Take another example in the same class, uh, you are studying 8th class, but having different heights, understood? Different heights among yourselves. Some students are belonging to 
uh, 5.66 feet ok some students are very shorter 4 feet like that ok now some students are uh, very lean students will be some students are very fatty students right so all these variations we can call it as a diversity so in this chapter also we are going to study about another important form of diversity which we cannot see but only feel this is diversity in temperature understood my dear diversity in temperature how to define this diversity in temperature how to notice this uh, diversity in temperature for this if you observe my dear children in the morning time when the sun rises the norm generally the temperature will be very cool in the morning it gets warmer during the day and it gets cooler again in the night so the variations if you observe in the morning time the temperature will be very less and slowly it gets warmer in the afternoon and again it gets cool in the night in the similar way we have three seasons important seasons are there summer season winter season and rainy season right so now we are in which season winter season right so that means the climate will be very cool in the night understood during the day time little bit temperatures will be there but whereas in the night time complete cool temperature sometimes it may uh, go down up to minus degrees also in some locations understood understood my dear in our vizag location lambasingi is there so you can see there uh, temperatures will be very less temperatures are forming there recording there so that means we are observing the temperatures differences from one place to another place another take another example if you go to jammu kashmir what you are going to find out there so there cool temperature will be there jammu kashmir right in the summer season also there will be very cool temperature will be there because it is uh, very close to the himalayas and also there the climate is different from our climate understood my dear here <coughs> the jammu kashmir they have uh, cool temperatures will be and whereas our kammam our telangana state is having different climate and uh, hot temperatures will be there so that means the temperature varies from one place to another place did you observe my dear so temperatures also varies from varies means difference from one place to another place on the earth ok so here some regions of uh, some regions are warm while some regions are so cold as they are covered with ice throughout the year my dear children if you observe in the equatorial region equatorial region means the places which are very close to the equator line understood so that places are called as equatorial region naturally or generally equatorial region the temperatures will be very hot very warmer temperatures will be there very hot temperatures will be there because the sun rays falls on the equator straightly whereas in the north pole and the south pole the temperatures will be very less because of the sun rays very uh, slanty rays will be there ok very lengthy rays so that is what it covers more distance and it is not giving that much of what you call heat ok heat and light there that is what they are not getting hot temperatures whereas equatorial region people equator region people they are getting more temperatures right more hot temperature will be there in the equatorial region if you observe whereas uh, polar regions that means uh, north pole or south pole or arctic region and under antarctic region so there will be very cool temperature will be and they will receive very uh, what you call less light and heat throughout the year ok so maximum throughout the year so rainfall slow snow rainfall will be there and they will receive uh, only cool temperatures and very few people can live there understood my dear so this means uh, from observing all these things temperatures difference between places also 
causes winds and rains understood. So, first point is temperatures also varies from one place to another place. Second thing is temperature differences between places also causes winds and rains. So, that means, the amount of rain received at a place is to some extent determined by the temperature difference between places. For example, here if you take the example of Rajasthan in our India. So, Rajasthan location is completely covered with uh, what do you call what is there in the Rajasthan that is desert location right. So, that means the desert location receives only less rainfall whereas, if you go to Meghalaya ok Cherapunji location if you see. So, maximum 365 days 24 hours rains will be there understood. So, that means, this uh, winds and rains also will get the difference between the temperature from one place to another place. If the rains are more then naturally temperatures will be very less. If the rains are very less and naturally their temperature will be very high. So, here Rajasthan location that is what that is desert location very less rainfall will be there that is what temperatures will be more there and whereas, compared to other location like Meghalaya, Cherapunji location if you observe they will receive completely rainfall location that is and their temperatures will be very less understood. So, that is what temperature also differences uh, difference is there between place to place and it causes winds and rains. First point is temperature varies from one place to another place and second one is temperature differences between places also causes winds and rains. Third one is temperature and rainfall affect in very critical ways understood my dear temperature and rainfall affect life in very critical ways. So, this temperature and rainfall these two will influence our human life not only our human life total biodiversity understood my dear. So, here plants and animals depend on heat and water. So, plants and animals depend on heat and water. My dear children, not only plants and animals, ourselves human beings also need heat and water. Am I right or not? If you are not getting heat, if you do not have water to drink, can you live there? Can you live on the earth? It is very highly impossible without water, without heat. Okay. So, heat means sufficient heat we need. If sun is not coming daily, then naturally in our winter season, how you are feeling? So, cold. If you are feeling so cold climate, then the cooler temperature is not also not good for us. If the plants needs to grow, it requires a uh, sunlight and water. If sunlight is sufficient, if water is sufficient, plants will grow easily. Same way animals also they required, it requires heat and water. In the same way human beings also requires heat and water. Only some certain kinds of trees and plants will grow in hot regions and some other kinds will grow in cold regions. If you observe my dear children, in some regions, hot regions like uh, desert locations, if you observe very few plants will grow there because very less rainfall will be there right. Whereas, if you observe cool temperatures, cool regions or cold regions, so different uh, plants will grow there. If the temperature is very heavy, very cold regions that means, uh, very what you call uh, freezed regions, no plant will grow there because that is not at all suitable for the growing of the plant. So, here thus we have variation in vegetation and animal life. In this chapter, we will study about variations in temperatures in different parts of the world understood my dear. So, due to this uh, hot and cold regions, so different uh, climates will be there, different temperatures will be there and uh, different animal uh, lifestyle will be there, different uh, human lifestyle will be there and we are going to study about these variations in temperatures in different parts of the 
world understood my dear so before going to our lesson so one more topic greenhouses about greenhouses they have given in our test book just we will see uh, that concept also so here greenhouses this is called greenhouse interestingly human scientists sorry human societies have tried to grow crops everywhere by creating artificial environment for plants understood my dear here artificial environment they have created <coughs> thus we grow vegetables and fruits in very cold regions by building green houses my dear children all over the world uh, the land is not suitable for the growing of crops in some locations they cannot they cannot cultivate different crops for example if you take the uh, country america all the crops can we cultivate there in america no because it is highly impossible the climate is different cool climate will be there so what to do so that is what artificial okay artificial environmental uh, sheds that is called greenhouses they created for the growing of plants so you can see this is called artificial environmental greenhouses so these buildings are made up made with transparent roofs and walls which allow heat to come in but not escape my dear children if you observe these roofs and walls covered with transparent sheet and which allows only which absorbs heat from the sun but it won't give out that means it will uh, remain constant the heat will remain here and it will constantly remains in this green houses for that reason the plants requires sunlight so the light is providing from this roof sheets and also water is spraying in the ground level that is what this green houses are useful for the uh, different locations that is which are not suitable for the cultivation of crops so that location they are using this green houses by by using this green houses they are cultivating different types of fruits different types of vegetable vegetables different types of other uh, food items okay so they are doing in different locations so you can also observe here see many plants they are cultivating understood so in different countries many foreign countries they are following this green houses understand so we create marshy environments for crops like paddy by irrigating the fields so in our india so this is paddy crop you can also observe so here we are using the walls here you can see this is so what do you call mashy environment that means one kind of mad mud uh, wall okay in order to hold the water right here so in the same way here they are also using some mashy environments okay so some plastic uh, uh, walls like they will create that is called mashy environment for holding the water in order to cultivate this or in order to irrigate the field with water and it is very easy for them to cultivate paddy crops understood my dear so here my dear children today we covered only introduction part of energy from the sun so okay today we learned our earth is full of diversity diversity means the condition of having many different elements so in the last lesson also we covered oceans continents mountains plateaus plain regions in this chapter we are going to study about diversity in temperature understood and also here morning time temperatures are very less in the afternoon it gets warmer and the evening in again it gets cool okay so in the uh, year we have three seasons are there summer season winter season rainy season so three seasons will observe different types of uh, temperatures are there different types of climates will be there so here the first important point is temperature also varies from one place to another on the earth in your test book also you underline this very very important point this is temperatures also difference between from one place to another on the earth and second point is here 
we absorb uh, equatorial region naturally it is having hot temperatures and when as the polar regions okay that is uh, arctic regions or antarctic regions if you observe okay so there uh, very cool temperatures will be there so that means temperature differences between places also causes winds and rains understand for this we observed uh, the temperatures from rajasthan is different whereas meghalaya temperatures are different okay because they are receiving heavy rainfalls in meghalaya cherapunji location if you observe many rainfalls will be there so that is what they are having uh, less temperatures whereas uh, in rajasthan no uh, rainfall so very less rainfalls will be there that is what they are receiving very hot temperatures also here temperature and rainfall will affect or will influence our human life am i right or not yes so this temperature and rainfall is very very important for our human life plants and animals depend upon heat and water without heat without water no biodiversity so no animal can live on the earth understood for this here in many uh, hot regions and many cold regions some different types of uh, plants will grow according to the climate conditions right and here uh, this variations also we are going to study in this chapter that is temperature in different parts of the world so different parts of the world we will observe the different temperatures by comparing them uh, you will get the information about the differences between temperatures okay that is coming chapters will come coming concepts will be there there we are going to study next one is green houses why they are using green houses in some locations like america switzerland understand my dear in some other foreign countries they don't have uh, suitable lands to cultivate the crops so for that reason they have created artificial environment green houses so by using this they are cultivating different types of crops understand my dear so here the roofs they covered with uh, transparent roofs and walls they are covered with sheets so this sheets are observing heat or sunlight from the sun and it allows the heat inside and it won't allow outside to escape the heat so that is what the plants are receiving heat and light from the sun and also ground level they are spraying water so by these two the plants are growing there so this is all about green houses understood my dear so all of you read this you know, lesson line by line and underline important points and also in your page number 18 so in this in your box one box item is there so here you can also think about this uh, box item questions you how to create so here i am reading have you been to place that have a different climate than where you live describe in your with your friends so here if you have any experience with other location have you uh, have you seen any other climate locations like uh, other uh, places vizag and some other hyderabad if you have any other locations experience you can also uh, write there so you can observe the climate differences how the climate is there in the uh, for example you went to chennai okay how is the climate there in chennai and how is our kambam location you just comparison and you can also frame some questions so you read these uh, box item questions and if you it is very easy for you to understand and also you can also frame different types of questions right in the next class we will cover the solar energy and sun's rays and also uh, sun's rays and earth's surface this two concepts we will cover in the next class so my dear children all of you uh, create uh, bits and also questionnaires you make it and start your uh, class work also regularly you follow this and all of you subscribe our channel first and also like and also if you uh, like this video just give comment and share you this video to your friends also so that it is very helpful for them to understand the lesson okay so until then
take care and goodbye thank you